Egypt would remain under Roman rule for 600 years. Even Christianizing when the official religion of the Roman Empire became Christianity in 323 AD. While Christianity was spreading through Europe, the Mediterranean, and Africa through 600 AD, another religion would soon form across the Red Sea on the Arabian Peninsula. Meaning total submission to God, Islam would become the dominant religion over the entire peninsula by the time of Muhammad's death in 632 AD. Muhammad had told his followers not to attack Christians or Jews because they all identified with the books of the Old Testament. But ten years after his death, his successors would begin annexing much of Persia and the southern Mediterranean, including Egypt. Their motives would prove to be political and financial, however, as they allowed those they conquered to retain their religions so long as they paid their taxes. Egypt after 642 AD would come to be ruled by a succession of Muslim rulers for about 800 years. The Mamluks began as Muslim mercenaries from Georgia, but eventually came to rule Egypt themselves. The Ottoman Turks, also Muslim, began ruling Egypt around 1512. The Mamluks and the Ottoman Turks would fight back and forth until Napoleon Bonaparte from France conquered Egypt in 1797. France's occupation of Egypt was short-lived, however, when the British became an ally of Turkey and drove the French out in 1801. The Ottoman Turks would rule over Egypt for about 400 years. Britain remained an ally of the Ottomans in Egypt and helped finance the Suez Canal, which opened in 1869. The canal enables boats to travel from the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea, which opens up into the Arabian Sea. Monetary debts to England would multiply due to the Suez projects and others. So England began asserting authority on the Egyptian government. This would lead to the Anglo-Egyptian War of 1882, which would result in a British victory. The British occupation to follow would be bittersweet. They would both help and harm the Egyptian way of life. Some public works, such as the Aswan Dam, would be completed, which controlled flooding and aided in crop irrigation. Yet, many Egyptians lost government jobs, and they were forced to pay high taxes. They occupied Egypt for many years until Great Britain, amid protests and uprisings, was forced to declare Egypt's independence.